hi everybody it's me it has been a day and a half um it, have you ever have one of those days where you're just like why do i even bother i am having one of those days so i know i'm supposed to be doing readings tonight but you know right now at this stage of my life hey hi um I want to just know if everybody else is having a crap of a day too, because I know I have. I know I'm having a huge crap day. So, yeah, so, yeah, I had a huge crap day. Basically something I thought that was going to be a permanent gig turned out to be a no-bye. We don't want you. Bye-bye. And now somebody gives me a call in the middle of the evening saying, hey, we might have something else for you to do. And... Basically, you can never have your Saturdays back ever again as long as you live. And I'm like, no, that's the only day of the week I have something else to do. I have a prior engagement. Well, then we can't find you, you know, a job. Long story short, I am currently unemployed. So, yeah, if you all think that everything is rainbows and daffodils in my life, ha! I, it's not. You're not the only ones going through the shit sandwich circus right now. So, and I know I'm supposed to be sitting here and being inspiring and giving you this hoity-toity, oh, everything's rainbows and unicorns, but I would be lying. And the name of the game is to be truthful and honest to you. And if I'm not being truthful and honest to you, then I'm full of crap. So, you know, I would love to be this Zen guru master that says, oh, everything is bunnies and daffodils and you know, chiclets and happiness and rainbows, but honestly, I'm pretty flippin' worn out right now. And I would love to blame retrograde, and I would love to blame, you know, the universe for all of this, but I'm having a shit day. Yeah, I know this is live, but yeah, I'm having a shit sandwich of a day. So, let's just... You know, I've sprayed enough bitch be gone and sage and incense and crap that I can shake, could care to shake a stick at. So I would just like to hear some encouraging happy thoughts from other people. Yeah, it's okay to have bad days, but when your bad days turn into months and we're now on, let me be honest with you guys, I'm on my sixth month of bad days. Yeah, no joke, no lie, no tea, no shade. All I ever wanted to do in this life was to sling cards for a living. That's all I ever wanted to do. And I'm good at it. All I wanted to do was be a professional witch. And I can't even, sometimes it feels like I can't even do that right. And yet I see so many other people doing this, you know, you know, it's their mindset, it's their attitude, it's the la 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 la. No, because I can sit here and have a positive attitude till the moon turns blue from cold. And it's just not working. So anyway... So I know that there were other people that I'd forgotten last week for flipping cards, and I honestly didn't even post on Facebook. I'm getting kind of tired of Facebook. You know, I've got people calling me left and right right now, even on the phone sitting there. I also had uh, somebody texting me last week, someone that I had known, an acquaintance of my passed away last week. So I'm going to their memorial service on the 31st. So... You know, I'm just fucking fed up. There, I said it. <laughs> okay, let's sling some cards. And I know I'm already, some people are like, I can't watch this right now. Click, I have enough negativity. I don't need her negativity. And I'm like, well, join the club. I can't stand mine either. <laughs> so why don't we sling some cards and see what we can do? Shall we? Why don't I sling my own cards? Somebody should be reading me right now, damn it. So let's sling me a card, like, what am I going to do? The beauty card. Okay, I got to grin and bear it, pretty much. Smile, nod, try to find the beauty in all of this, and just keep smiling and try to push through it. Keep on, keep it going. What is it they always say, fake it till you make it? Yeah, that's probably the best route of action. Uh, my friend friend Nikki asked for a reading last week and I totally didn't see it so let me think happy thoughts happy thoughts da 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 the death card birth inverted in this particular death 
deck, this particular deck, and this particular deck is the death card, meaning you have a choice. You could either, these are your options, okay? The birth card is better than just the death card because with the birth card, you have a choice. You can either change, survive and thrive, and evolve, because the only thing that's constant is change, or you can stagnate and wallow in the pith and marrow of your own attributes. Wallow, evolve. What would you choose? Evolve. Moving on. So, Nikki, if you get to see this, evolve. Move on, evolve, go further into that night. Marco, hey, I don't know if Marco can hear me right now. So, Artie, Marty joined. Hi! So, by the way, Violet Nightshade, thank you for your encouragement. It does make me feel better to hear somebody else, like, pet me on the head and hand me a cookie. I really like a cookie right now. So, okay, so here we go. Marco, 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 Marco. All right. Wave. Okay. Rock or work okay this is fitting because I know the situation going on with that so Marco if you see this the work card this means you need to hustle baby you got to get that ebb and flow going get it going get it going get it going move it shake it make it work for you make it all to your advantage you've got such opportunities right now just it feels like it's draining you down <laughs> hello I'm in the similar boat you know, so I know it's sucking right now for you, but honestly, there's so many advantages out there for you. You just don't see them. So just keep at it. Keep on keeping on and just make it work for you. Okay, so Violet Nightshade, would you like me to flip your card? Artie Marty, would you like me to flip your card? I'm, I'm guessing yes. I do not know where Brienne went, but that's okay. Who else would like their cards read? Me, 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 me from a very sarcastic witch right now. Also, we should be rejoicing in the fact, I'll get you Auntie Anne's cookie. Ha! I will get you cookies. I wish I could help more. I will send you good juju on your way. I want a cookie. Okay. <laughs> Violet Nightshade, let me send you a card. Violet Nightshade, la 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 la. Boom. Okay, the cave card. Dun, dun, da. First thing you gotta remember about the cave card is that it is not a prison. You are not in a cell. There are no doors, there are no windows and no doors to a cave. What you have to also realize is that you are in a prison of your own making. You have put yourself in a situation of your own making so that you can walk out anytime. You have options. You can get out of the situation. You can get out of this, situ the, this ordeal, if you will, and basically you need to hibernate for a little while, for lack of a better term. You have this, going back to school, get my AA, freaky family, freaking finally, right? I'm glad, Brian. you need to go get your AA. Go, I'm 15 units away still from AA from 1996. Anyway, I've never finished my degree. I, I should have a degree, but that entailed algebra, which I hate. So I went into statistics instead. And I changed my minor four times. So, Violet Nightshade, I would recommend that you need a little bit of a vacay. Take a little breather. Take a little breath. Take a little moment. Take, take a chill for a second. Contemplate your life. Think about what's going on. Breathe. Definitely need to breathe. Sorry, guys, it's hotter than blazes up in here. So, I do not have air on in here right now. Because if I turn my air on right now, you couldn't hear me. And that would be bad. And that would suck. So, we're not over at the wall of horror films right now. We are over here on sitting on a bed. My snake, Epsilon, is right over there. Say hi, Epsilon. Hi, Epi. Uh... So yes, I have a snake. I have a pet snake. Her name is Epsilon. And you're welcome, Violet Nightshade. You're more than welcome. Just remember, take a breath. It's very important. I know I should take my own advice, right? 
Um, EP is a ball python, and she likes to get in the ball. And she has been sitting... You know it's hot when the snake is sitting in the water, like, all the time. Because snakes are warm to begin with, but yet they, she's just like, no, it's too hot. Okay, let's see here. All right, so, Artie Marty, let me flip you a card, my love. Da, 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 da. I'm just in rare form today. I was so corporate today, it hurt. I was dressed in corporate togs all day today, trying to be as corporate as corporate could be, and it wasn't enough. It was not enough to muster. And, you know, sometimes you just have days like that. Somebody offered me another gig, but it'd be from like midnight. No, it would be another gig from noon to midnight, like every day except Sunday. And I'm like, uh, n wait, I'm at the Dragon on the Rose on a Saturday, and that's my schedule. I mean, I could always move my schedule, but no, that's not, no, 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 no. And I will be at the Dragon on the Rose on Saturdays. I just, I, there's a lot going on. I mean, I could take that one assignment. I don't know anymore. I, I got to think about that. So anyway, let's think of happy thoughts. We got to think of cleansing rainbows and unicorn poop. Tra la 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 la. la. Whoa. Okay. So, Marty Marty, your card is the father card. I know it's probably backwards because, you know, it's the camera. So this is the father card. And the father card basically means that there is either a masculine force in your life. You should call your dad or your stepfather or your uncle or whatever godfather, whoever it is that's the masculine influence on your life. Or you have someone in your life that is, screw those people. I know everyone says it, but I believe when one door opens, another better one will open. I hope you're right. I'll talk to you more about that later. It's just, yeah, I don't know. So basically the thing is, is that with the father card, it might be also telling you that you are either the father and the mother type figure in this situation. Hey, Woody Lorena, how you doing? And by the way, just to let everybody know, I will be posting these afterwards on my YouTube channel, usually the next day or like the night of, I don't know yet, I'll one day or the other, but these will be posted on my YouTube because I haven't had a chance to record anything on my YouTube. But the father card, the father card, I am trying to not segue, I'm working hard at it. The father card basically represents, quite frankly, that either you're a masculine force in someone's life and you either are the mentor that they need right now or a father figure in their life. doesn't matter what the gender is. It's just you're more of a masculine, like being there for somebody in a supportive fashion instead of a maternal, which is letting them cry all over you. They're, it's either one or the other. You're a fixer and a doer. You're a person of action. Or it could also mean that you need to call your dad or whatever parental unit or father figure influence in your life paternally. You know, maybe it's also a stronger, you might have to suck it up and be a little bit stronger for everybody right now in your life. So, you know, that it's a myriad of different things. Sometimes it's controlled by Sagittarius as well, that particular card. And you just have to be a mentor. I think that's another thing. It's one thing to be a parent. It's another thing to be a mentor. And sometimes we mix it up. And sometimes you have to do, especially with the father card, you're going to have to do tough love with some people in your life. So that's a possibility for that card. Okay. So, free. Do you want me to do you a card to send a request to be in your live video? Okay. I have no idea what that means. Sent a request to be in your live video. I know who you are. I just don't know how that works. You're more than welcome. I don't know how that works. I haven't figured that out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing me now. So, okay. When I figure that out, I'll have to practice that first. And then we'll, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm new at this. So, and I'm sorry we're running over. It's just, I got here late because I couldn't get somebody else off the phone telling me, well, you have until noon to make your decision. And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> I, I, I gotta,
take a minute to get my bearings. Okay, you got this twice in a row now. What the heck? Okay, what do you learn? This is your card, the no card. So I'm saying there might still be some negativity that's lurking around you in your life. I, I, that's the only thing I can think of. There's some certain types of negativity brewing about you. It's not your negativity, it's just kind of in your orbit. So watch those people that are negative in your orbit. It might be time to start doing a cleansing of all of the things that are negative in your life and just have a redo. So that's my suggestion. You can take it for many grains of salt as you will. I think, like I said before, I think the two words you're gonna learn this year, bleh, two words that you're gonna learn this year is the word no and boundaries. I know you can say no, I've seen you say it, but boundaries are the other one. So, ah, maybe, mayhaps, mayhaps, or may, maybe. It could be, that's a definite, it's a possibility. Whatever, you know, there's three different parts of our aspects. There's our gut, there's our heart, and there's our head, okay? Our head, it don't care what it does. It just, you know, all it cares about is knowing how to drive a car. Our heart, all it wants to do is watch movies all day, cry a lot, and eat lots of chocolate, and binge, like, all the three seasons of, like, Stranger Things. That's what the heart does. The heart always wants to be in love with the idea of being in love, and it will cry at a moment's notice. It's what it does. Then you've got your gut. The gut is the most crucial and important part of you, besides your, it is your natural born instincts. And that is the part that says, don't go down the creepy, don't go down the creepy alley where the scary music is. You want to go that way where the happy music is. Don't go down that way. Always listen to your gut. It will get your butt out of trouble every time. So, Brianna, I will do you a card. Tra la 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 The full card inverted. Hey. Very cool. The full card inverted. This basically means that you are... The full card in this particular deck usually means you need to look where you leap, watch where you're going, tra la la, like the regular full card in most tarot. This is an oracle deck, but inverted, there's more to it than that. You need to watch out kind of, what's that I always say? Measure twice, cut once. Yeah, it's like that. So measure twice, cut once, figure out the situation at hand. Do you need this situation to work out for you? How do you get from point A to point B to point C? So make those lists. How do I do this? How does I how do I make that happen? You know, so whatever works best for you. So on that note, I'm sorry that was I was on a massive rant, y'all. But <laughs> yes, okay, yes. I I wish I had more cheeriness about me, but honest to God's I was not feeling the fantasy. I actually was going to post and say, I'm not coming on tonight. And then I sat there and thought about it going, I just started doing this two weeks ago. If I do this, I, I would, it would suck. I would totally like suck at this and I'm not going to do that. That's not right. So, you know, I am in a situation in my life right now where people are trying to control my time and my hours and what I need to do. And I'm sitting there going, all I want to do is make and sell goats, do readings for a living, sell my oils, and just be a professional witch. And it feels like sometimes the universe doesn't even want me to do that. And I am, and I'm not even going to talk about like how we all are in the same boat, y'all. We're all in the same boat, treading water. Financially, I think I can get a latte, <laughs> maybe. But, you know... Sometimes I'm wondering why the universe, I mean, I sat there, oh, I, I had gotten this job, and then all of a sudden, no, we changed our mind. I'm like, okay, so the universe, what are you trying to tell me not to do this, to do this? Message me definitely, I know you need to talk, beautiful. I, I will. And then that's frustrating. It's totally frustrating. And I'm like sitting there going, what are you, and I'm sitting there, I try to talk to the universe all the time. I talk to the universe every time I'm driving the car. And I'm like, okay, universe, what are you trying to tell me? 
What are you trying to tell me? Am I supposed to go work at this company? Am I supposed to not do this? Am I supposed to do that? Oh, well, we want this, but you can't do that. The one thing I need is my Saturdays, and I can't even do that? And you want to put me on 12 hours? No, I'm not doing that. And it's just this, what does the universe want from me? I am already a hard worker. What am I supposed to do? And I mean, I was crying for 45 minutes today. 45 minutes today. Miss Formaldehyde, hey, would you like a reading, young person? Young person. I, I can't even right now. I can't even! So, you know, I will flip your card because I already know. I'm going to wave at you. Hi! <laughs> and talk to mom. Go visit. Sorry that random look you. I would love to talk to mom. She's not talking back right now. For anybody who does not know, my mom passed away in 2009, which is officially 10 years ago this June on Father's Day. Little weird trivia for you. My mom died on Father's Day of 2009. My father died on Father's Day 2005 or 6, I'm not sure. So that was a strong come in. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, both my parents died on Father's Days. I don't celebrate Father's Day just for this reason. <laughs> so, I can be found probably at the pub on that day. So, this card just flew out of my hand. Okay, Ms. Formaldehyde, your card is friendship. Okay, friendship. I know, it's like, I'm going to do the, the influencer hand behind the, the, the lipstick moment. <laughs> This is the friendship card in this particular deck. I didn't know if you wanted a reading, but I just pulled the card for you anyway. So the friendship card is basically you have a very strong support system. You have good people around your life right now. You know, some of them may be a little ditzy around the edges, but you do have a very strong support system there for you. And you just need to, if you need help, just ask. And so if that helps you any, I hope it does. So, you know, you need to really kind of hunker down right now. So I hope that helped. Uh, you have a strong support system. That's pretty much it. So let's see. Anybody else want a card pull? Anybody? Anybody? So, but yeah, the friendship card is that you have a very strong support system in your life and you need to embrace it. And so that's pretty profound. So, so, sh sh blah, 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 blah. I cannot pronounce. I cannot brain today, y'all. Shalil joined. Did you want me to pull a card for you, my lovely? I can do that. I have skills and stuff. Contrary to some people's belief, I do have skills. So, by the way, on the 17th is the downtown Santa Ana witch walk coming up. I am also possibly going to be teaching a class. My schedule is kind of crazy right now because I'm dealing with some shenanigans and well, I gotta figure out how to do that. So, let's see, that is not a good card because that's the same card I picked, but it's inverted. So, Shalil joined, you waved, I waved, and I give you the friendship card inverted. Let me explain what that means now. So we've seen the friendship card one way, let me explain the friendship card inverted now. There might be some people in your life, how do I elegantly place this, that are not the brightest tacks on the tray. And you know this. You know this to be a truth. You know this that you, you have some ditzy people in your life. That's a nice way to put it. So back on the 27th. Okay. So yeah, you friendship card inverted means there are some people you're going to have to cut your losses with probably. You probably already have cut your losses with them, but they haven't gotten the hint. <laughs> so it's time for a house cleaning in your life. So it's time for you to just, just scrub and dub dub and get rid of some of the negativity from certain people in your life that are just causing chaos and disorder. And do you really need that kind of crap in your life right now? Hell no, you don't. So it's time to clean house, get rid of the negativity around your orbit. It's not you, it's the people around you. And what is it? I always say negativity, Negative people like to suck on positive people because that makes them more negative. 
and then they're positive because they've made you negative, it's kind of cause and effect. So, yeah, you don't want that. You're too positive a person for that. F that S. F that S. F T S is F that S. You know, I, you know what I mean. I've already been swearing like a sailor. I'm so glad this is, you know, to monetize. What's that? I don't know. So <laughs> I don't need to do that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. It's been a hellacious day for me. And I really, this is about as much positivity as I can give right now. So I have tried. Oh, I did find at the bottom of my purse my unicorn, my squishy unicorn that made me very happy. So for anybody who cared, um, <laughs> I'm out of here guys. I'm, I'll be feeling better probably tomorrow. I don't know anymore. I'll talk to you later. Zen hugs. Bye.